So, Paul, my audience has a few questions for you. Are you ready to answer? Let's go. Okay, they mostly want to know how you become vegan, when, how... When, how, why. <laughs> okay, so I went vegan back in uh, 2011. It was March of 2011. A uh, mate of mine forced me to watch Earthlings. He forced me, tied me down to the couch and said, you better watch this or I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just joking. He said, yeah, watch Earthlings. And then I watched it and I was, I was just shocked to see how animals are treated. And that's enough, um, that's enough reason to go vegan alone. But I was actually vegetarian for two weeks after that. And then you know, I just decided I'm a hypocrite. I might as well just go all the way. And that's how I went vegan. And that's when I went vegan. And is there anything else? How old are you? How old am I? <laughs> 26. Okay. And they also want to know things about uh, your cycling experience. Um, how did you start cycling? Why? When? Well, interestingly enough, it's the same mate that uh, helped me to go vegan by showing me Earth or letting me know about Earthlings. He actually got me into the cycling. He was doing triathlon at the time. And then he's like, uh, yeah, come cycle with me. And then, then I got hooked. I got hooked on the cycling. It was good. Cycling is addictive, I think. Yeah, for sure. Is there anything I missed in that question about the cycling? I think so. Is that it? Mm. Yeah. So, from, from a friend who gave you the virus of cycling. Yeah, he gave me the virus. <laughs> I got infected. Okay. Okay, they also want to know so badly how we met. How did we meet? Well, we met um, through an act of suffering. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the most pleasurable experience for her. But I was having fun because I was enjoying seeing her suffering, getting dropped on the wheel all the time. <laughs> okay, let me explain. Um, Paul was pacing me in June when I was trying to do a um, time trial and it worked. Even though your power meter died. Yeah, it, <laughs> it died just as I finished pacing her, which no. was convenient. No more battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and they want to know also how we managed it to do the long distance because we had long distance for three months. Yeah, we were just chatting to each other on Messenger pretty much every day. Mm. Chatting a lot. Yeah, but I, I would let her chase. She would do all the chasing and, and that would, would keep things yeah. healthy. You know, if a, if a guy does the chasing, you, he's, he's going to chase her right out of his life. Yeah. <laughs> and also, what helps is that we have a lot of common interests, yeah. same patients. Sure. Your values have to be aligned. Mm. And it really helps to make it work. Definitely. Mm. And right now we are in South Africa and then we'll go to Chiang Mai, we don't know when and we'll see. Let's enjoy the present moment and focus on the now. Yeah. Power of now. Okay, let's go back to the interview because it's your interview. Um they want to know how long you have been living in South Africa, if you're from this place, and where you are from? Yes, I've been living in South Africa all my life. I was born in Pretoria, and yeah, I still am in Pretoria. We've moved a couple of times. I think in my lifetime, we probably moved about seven times. Mm. But yeah, I'm still here in Pretoria. Mm. It's not a bad place. The only, the, bad thing, the only bad thing about it, I can say, is the, is the traffic, mm. as you can attest as well. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous some days. <laughs> But it's warm here, it's cool. Yeah, it's got many pros, many pros. Mm. But uh, Chiang Mai is the place to be. Mm. Right it's going to be my new home. <laughs> <laughs> Chiang Mai is home, I feel the same. And right now we are in your parents' house. Yeah. Um, okay. um, some guy said, um, what do you think about uh, photo safaris? Photo safaris? <laughs> is it ethical? I think it's a question. Oh, is it ethical? You mean like taking photos of wild animals? Of, of wild animals. Mm. I think it's ethical. Yeah, me too. If they're not, yeah, if they're not like kept in a very small enclosure, then I think it's ethical. Mm. As long as you're not harming them or, or yeah. The other day, yeah. we have seen zebras, but ha they have a lot of space and. It's a yeah, they look reserve. they look happy to me. So yeah, I, 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 agree. I think that's ethical because you're protecting them from. From, from predators, <laughs> the real predators, humans. Yeah, poachers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, next question. Um, <laughs> it's about southern hemisphere. Does the vortex in the sink turn in a different direction? direction? 
I haven't paid attention to that, so I can't, I can't comment on that one. Me neither, sorry. <laughs> don't, give, don't care. <laughs> okay. About your diet now. What is your diet? Is it raw for starch, raw vegan or something else? Well, most of the time it's the tasty shit diet. So I just eat whatever looks tasty to me. As long as it's vegan. And, but most of the time it's high for sure. The average calories to help you in terms of a macronutrient ratio is under 10% of fat. So you could say it's a high carb, low fat vegan diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tasty shit. Oreos, <laughs> fries. So there's like pies, sausages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Snitchels, all these vegan goodies, vegan cheese, vegan pizza, you enjoyed that vegan pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Vegetable, chop suey, all that good stuff. Um, does your vegan diet help for your cycling performance? The one thing that it's really helped with, and I'll be honest, is the endurance. My endurance has become a lot better since carving up because you just get the cleanest fuel in that you can. In terms of like max power, it hasn't changed, it's been the same. And recovery? Yeah, recovery is also better. That's recovery, endurance, it's linked. Yeah, it's better, like in, a two, in two years I've noticed the recovery is, is much better than it used to be. Because like in the past I would do a four day tour and on the last day my legs would feel so heavy and now the legs are fine. Well, they, they still hurt but it's a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, you're not immortal or invincible. No, no, I'm just, I don't take drugs. I'm just a, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> And you stopped drinking coffees just 10 days ago or two weeks ago? Yes, yeah, it's, it's two weeks now. And yeah, I'm feeling better. Mm. Much better. Natural energy. No stimulants. No stimulants. Um, someone asked if you plan to visit France? No, I don't really want to go to France. It's too expensive, yeah. right? <laughs> Even if I had the money, I probably wouldn't. We have some great mountains, mountains to Yeah, that's, that's probably the only reason why I would go, <laughs> and for you, of course. <laughs> um, last question. Someone asked if uh, you satisfy me in bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question, eh? Well, the only answer I can give them is, do you look satisfied? <laughs> Does she look satisfied? You so answer that question. <laughs> Okay, no more questions. Thank you for the interview. Pleasure. Pleasure.